Yes, family, we're here at the Kumasi Culture Center. I'm just walking with my good brother, Sar, while everyone is going to take the bus to Ike's Cafe. Yes, man. Peace, peace. It's my good brother, Sar, man. No doubt, no doubt. Everybody come to Kumasi, come to the National Cultural Center, and spend time with Brother Bomani and the good people here in Ghana. There you go, family. As we, as we come up on this uh, Ghana Tourism Authority, uh, which is uh, in the other direction, but this is the connection from Ike's uh, Cafe and Ike's uh, Resort. So this is the back side, and we're going to walk all the way around and take you to the front. So all of this is owned by yeah, yeah, Ike's family. So what's this part of it? Oh, uh, this is uh, this is actually their resort. Oh, so you just see the back elements of it, and and it's literally family in the culture center. Yes, so family, it is Ike's Cafe and Grill we're going to. And unfortunately, on this side of the culture center, you have no access to get there. I've literally thought it was, and I'm sure you can get through here, but I'm sure if we walk through there, somebody will be wondering what we're doing. So we're going to take the real scenic route. And as we're going around, I'm going to show you the beautiful artwork. That's Kwame Nkrumah right there, Ghana, our beloved country. There's some more Dinka symbols. Akome Anache, Anache, Akomfo Anache. So, apologize, family, if I'm not pronouncing it right. Uh, you know, we do our best to try to pronounce certain words. The Santi Warriors. Prempe the second and a classic Aquaba dancers or dancer. And just like that, you know, we're here, you know. My walking is faster than the bus moving. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> as I'm looking up, as a matter of fact, yeah. I'm far away from the bus, so the bus will be coming this way. Look, like you got a fast food joint that just popped out out of, out of nowhere. Let me see what that looked like. I didn't even realize that was there. But the thing I fit it once, uh, brother, uh, I saw once they built Ike's, once I, Ike Cafe was built. Yeah. It's basically every business, everybody that was interested in food or anything came this way. Came this way. Because I remember when we first started coming, uh, the Ken Kentish uh, restaurant is what we used to use. Okay. But you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I'm being real with people, you know, it's, we live in a world of competition, so That's it. you either step your game, game up, up or get you know, left, uh, you know, left behind, you know? I think your driver forgot about it. So here we're coming up on Ike's Cafe and Grill. And the bottom part of the uh, culture center or the uh, main entrance of the culture center is what you have right here. So, you're first coming in, as soon as you come in to the culture center, you're gonna see Ike's Cafe. And before I go along Ike's Cafe, let me show you the front of the culture center. But not exactly the front, but show you the, the entrance point. Uh, once you uh, come to the front, you're going to see the big sign that say Kumasi Culture Center. And then what you have right here, then you have horn blowers. And you have different symbols of warriors. And they are uh, welcome you into the Culture Center. And then you come on in, and you make a right, and this is where you're gonna find Ike's Enterprise here in Kumasi. So, 
It's a combination of a few different things. You have the Ike's Cafe and Grill, which is the, which is the restaurant that's been there uh, from November of 2017. And then what you're looking at straight at is their incredible hotel that they're gonna be completing in the next uh, few years. And it's uh, something I've seen, honestly, built up from the ground up. And uh, now you're able to just, you know, see what we talk about when we talk about black corporate uh, economics, uh, you know, supporting black owned business. So black owned business can have the capital that they need to invest and, and create more business. And then when you're creating more black owned business, you're creating more employment for black people. So these are the things that we stress and we talk about. If you're a Jamaican or Ghanaian or wherever in, you know, in America or Europe, you know, the goal is to invest some of that money back into your cultural country or invest it back into Africa and other places where, you know, where we're heavily populated as black people and create more opportunities for us. So this hotel is in the works and you know, everything that, they, that I've ever seen them do from in Atlanta, Georgia, to here in uh, Kumasi, uh, Ghana, has always been top notch and about this life and about that life and business as far as this, you know, you know, a black family working together to, to represent. So just like you know, we have you know, the Hiltons and the Marriott's, you know, we have to build our own brand, you know, and it starts, you know, it starts with the current generation. And so you'll always, you know, see us supporting black owned business to the highest level. And they also have a nice sort of pump, pami, a salon and spa. So they're consistently coming out with different brands. And so this is actually right here and this is this whole resort right here is incredible so it's uh ike's uh, cultural village which for me you know is one of the words i would use uh more so as a resort but yes cultural village And then here we come up on the big famous sign. And not sure what's right here on the next side, but I'm almost absolutely sure that uh, there's something Ike is planning on expanding on to. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, this is something completely different behind these uh, gates right here. So this is the importance of uh, buying land. Uh, you get the land and you invest in doing uh, real estate development. Yeah. And here we are as we come up on Ike's Thank Cafe you. and Grill. And remember fam, we started on the other side when me and Asar was just walking. Right on the other side. So what you first, so that was the back of Ike's cultural village you saw with all the paintings. And then here we come up on a sign. Now one of my favorite signs right here. Just, I just love the you know the flow of it. This is this, this could be you know, a artwork picture in your home.
this family, as soon as you come into the Ixoc, Cafe and Grill, you just come to the left. For those who love, you know, you love your sweets, your cakes, your sugary stuff, yeah, this is it right here. These are some fresh fish that look like they just came from the actual uh, fish pond over here. And you, you, then you come on in and you got a reception area right here. Yes, brothers, yes. Uh, we're over there. Yeah, this, that's our VIP section. So, family. As usual, our groups are always here. Uh, once we come on in, it's to the right, and we just here supporting, showing love. Uh, we have Aiden up here also in this top area, which was one of the first part that was actually built. And then this is the fish pond. So make sure you know you stay, stay clear because you know you fall in there, the catfish will eat you. Hello, greetings. And you know, and you know, we, as I mentioned, everywhere else that we've been to in Kamasi, what you see is just a lot of cultural energy. So, we, we, so this is where we're gonna be sitting down and breaking for our lunch in this lounge. Yes, my brother, you ready? You ready? You ready for your great dining? <laughs> oh, excellent! He's excited and he's he's ready. How did you know about you too? Oh my what? God! <laughs> what? Yes, yes, yes. How you feeling? Good, good, good. Yes. Very well, good guy. Yes, yes. All right. Don't play everybody. Enjoy their walk, their exercise. Now it's time to just enjoy some cool tropical mojito, pina colado, mango, this, mango, that. And just enjoy the good energy. And then we always got our good brothers here, hard at work for us, so you know, we appreciate them. The family, we're gonna chill and then enjoy this vibes and the journey continues. 